amazing stories of the sea, there is one which invariably evokes a smile of skepticism and disbelief. But that smile vanishes whenever the story itself is supplemented by the convincing evidence of its truth. The New York Sun of October 9, 1931, published a complete account of the incredulous affair. Here is that story. It was a long and hazardous voyage that Captain Neil Curry undertook when his ship sailed out of the harbor of Liverpool that morning in 1881. But as the days passed and the wind blew fair, everyone, captain, his wife, and the crew alike, was lulled into a false security. And then, on a certain night, when the ship lay 1,500 miles off the coast of Mexico, catastrophe struck. Captain Curry! Captain, sir! In the galley, sir! Fire's broken out! Long before the captain and his wife reached the galley, the smell of smoke stung their nostrils. When they arrived, the flames were already consuming the walls and creeping hungrily out into the other parts of the hold. It's no use, sir. We can't stop it. All right, leader. Give the order to abandon ship. There were only three lifeboats, and they were pitifully frail. For a time, the eyes of every man in them were pinned on the fiery hulk which they had left behind them. As they watched in horror, it began to settle. And slowly the waves washed over it. Then there's no hope at all. We'll die of thirst. Yes. Unless a ship comes. But no ship came. The night passed. Another day. And another night. And now their lips were cracked. And their tongues parched. And they spoke in hoarse whispers. I can't stand it. There's water there. I'm going to get down. You fool. That's salt water. Me, yeah. Look, the water around it, it, it looks different. It's always been blue, and now it's green. But it, it, it looks like the water in a pool or a lake. Neil, I'm going to try. Captain Curry bent forward and seized his wife's arm. But he was too late. She had dipped her hand into the sea, and now her fingers were in her mouth. It's a rush water! There's no stuff in it! We can drink it! <laughs> Captain Curry's wife had not gone mad. There, in the midst of the ocean, the captain and his crew leaned over the sides of their boats and drank their fill. And when their thirst was slaked, they took up their vigil again with renewed hope. And when at last a ship appeared and they were taken aboard, they knew that they owed their lives to a miracle, a miracle without parallel in the history of the sea. A miracle incredible but true. (laughs) 